Hey guys, and how about we play Pokemon Ash Gray version? Last time in Viridian City, we took on Team Rocket at the gym and got the Earth Badge! Yay! So now, Professor Rock wanted us to go see, uh, Seafoam Islands, I believe. See about Slowpoke evolution into Slowbro. So yeah, here we are. Ah, who have we here? So your friends with Prof Oak. Hey? Please, don't call me Professor, it's much too formal. Call me Prof. My friends and associates all call me Westwood the Fifth. Oh, I'm a fifth generation Westwood, so you can see that I come from a long line of Pokemon researchers. I don't know who that is, but okay. At the moment, I'm solving a real life mystery, slowly but surely. I want to discover why Shelter attaches to Slowpoke to cause it to evolve into Slowbro. I've been researching with my Slowpoke. You may have seen it fishing on the beach. If I can understand why Slowpoke evolves into Slowbro, I'll have earned the right to call myself a Westwood. All right, you do that, sir. You, Westwood the fifth, you. Maybe we should talk to the Slowpoke to see about, you know, maybe he knows something more. Slowpoke. Nah, he just seems confused. Dude, if you want to be fishing, you gotta be, like, closer. I mean, your tail is not this long, okay? Come, like, right here and fish, like, facing that way. I don't know. I guess I shouldn't really give lessons to a Slowpoke. That was Pikachu. Seafoam Islands. Pikachu! Hello! Pika! Little Puka? Is that a misspelling? Da da da, or is that a nickname? Alright, let's go see Puka's owner. I assume it's in here. Nope! Puka's an orphan. Poor little Puka. Little Pikachu. Do you have something else to say? Nope. Pikachu seems depressed. Okay, maybe I surf out this way. Maybe. Oh yeah! Too rough! The raft is careening out of control! Oh no! The raft can't hold Ash out of the water any longer! Ash lost consciousness, da da da. Oh frick. Oh! Hey! It's a larger man. This is my cabin. How are you, kid? Are you hurt? My name's Victor. I saw you struggling in the harsh waves, so I rushed out on my surfboard to help you. But don't thank me. Thank my Pikachu, Puka. It is Puka! Alright. I've had Puka for almost 20 years now, but I didn't catch it like you would a regular Pokemon. Puka came to me from the sea. I found her to float on a piece of wood, and from that day on, Puka and I have never been apart. There's something special about Puka. It can feel the waves in its body. It can sense when a big wave is headed our way. Over the last 20 years, we've surfed every big wave that's come our way. But we're waiting for the big wave. Humunga Dunga! Wow. <laughs> it only comes once every 20 years. When I was just a boy, the best surfer I knew was Jan, and he managed to surf Humunga Dunga and place his flag at the peak of Ocean's Mountain and become a legend. Can you put a flag in top of a wave? I started surfing because I wanted to be just like him. 20 years later, I challenged the big wave. But Humunga Dunga beat me, and it was the biggest disappointment of my life. I never wanted to surf again, that is, until I found Puka. If it weren't for Puka, I don't know where or what I'd be. Since then, Puka and I have teamed up and conquered every kind of wave you can imagine. There's just one left. Humunga Dunga! Humunga Dunga 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 Dunga. It's time! Humunga Dunga is coming! So wait, is he like 40 years old then? It's a wave that only comes every 20 years! Puka and I have to surf it. Okay, wait, so... He was young, and he saw someone surf Humunga Dunga. And then he tried to surf Humunga Dunga, I imagine 20 years later, so that put... Let's say 25, he saw him when he was 5 years old. And he failed, so now he's like 45? That's really weird. I mean, thanks! Let's go watch him surf, maybe he can do it! Humunga Dunga 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 Oh, there actually is a... Okay, gotcha. Humunga Dunga is approaching! Oh, that's not him. Victor and Puka are going to challenge it. You can do it, Victor and Puka! Oh, hey, they did it. And then they just hop back down. Victor planted his flag on the mountaintop alongside Jans. Oh, good for you, Victor. And Puka, of course. Let's go say hi! And offer our congratulations! Victor! Puka! I'm coming! Ah, I guess the waves are gone now. Let's go talk. Hello? Are you still here? Or did you leave? Victor? Puka? Victor? Puka? Victor Puka, did the Diglet eat you? Oh my goodness, I think the Diglet ate them. 
get demonic diglet again. Um, maybe we were supposed to talk to him at the house. Let's go back and see if he's there now. Yeah, they are here. Okay. Puke and I finally accomplished our lifelong dream. So how's about a battle to see just how good a trainer you are? Yeah! Now you'll see that Puka's no ordinary Pikachu, dot dot dot. Alright, Victor and Puka, bring it on! Swimmer boy Victor would like to battle. Pikachu! Hello, Puka! Oh, level 60. That's impressive. Thunder Wave! I'm still faster, though. That's cool. No, I was gonna use Thunder. Use Thunder! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Rain Dance? Well, now Thunder's bound to hit! I didn't even know Pikachu could learn Rain Dance, or maybe just because Puka is special. Is this the one with, like, blue eyes or something? I thought there was a Pikachu, like, serving Pikachu that's something to do with blue. Anyway, Thunder! Like, eyes or cheek pouch or something. Probably eyes. Cheek pouch would be. I don't know. I don't know! But that was easy. Not too bad, kid. You don't look too bad for a 40-year-old, either. Alright, well, what about you? Pika. You just sound so depressed all the time. You're a pretty strong trainer. You remind me a lot of myself and Puka when I was a kid. Whatever happens, and no matter how many defeats you may face, remember never to give up. It's taken me 40... Okay, it is 40. 40 years to accomplish my dream, but it was well worth the sacrifice. You can do it, too, dot dot dot. Aw, oh, thanks, Victor. Now I'm ready to take on the world! Right, let's go see what those Diglett were about. Actually, before that, there was a way to go, like, south here. I wanna see what this is. That's just another route. I don't know which way I should go first! I don't know. We'll go this way first, because we're here. But since Pikachu's 51 and everyone else is 50, we'll switch him out. Hey, you there. Let's have a match, unless you're afraid to lose. I'm not afraid. Ash Kiss from Pallet Town can defeat anybody in battle. Well, he looks like Team Aqua, doesn't he? From, like, Sapphire and Ruby? Trainer Raymond. All right. Hey, look, it's Dawn Fan. Oh, cool. Use Razor Leaf. Yeah, suck it, Dawn Fan. Cool. Venomoth! Alright, Pidgeot, go! Is he, um, is this supposed to be a trainer from one of the movies? Because I thought one of the trainer movies started off with a Dawn fan. I could be wrong. It was like at the start of the movie, and so it had like the, you know, music going and all that. It was cool. I don't know. What I remember was cool. Maybe it wasn't cool, or maybe I'm remembering wrong, but whatever. Alright, Bulba had his turn. Rebel! Either way, I kind of like this battle. I will not skip this one. Alright, use Bubble Beam! Ah, oh, you're so boss, Rebel, you're so boss. After all this time of waiting, it paid off pretty well. Pinsir, eh? Alright, Carterpy! Because Pidgeot already had a turn. Looks like Carterpy had a turn. Use Gust! Because I don't have anything stronger than that in terms of a flying move. But that's okay, because I can live. See, Cardi B's still full health. And one more Gust after this ought to do it. I mean, it'll do it for sure. Not quite full health 138? Oh, so close. Psybeam, just for the heck of it. Ah, ah, ah. Again. Now let's see, Machamp. Let's keep Carter P out, why not? Maybe Carter P can go full health. Oh, there he goes, alright, Gust! Yes. Did very well. Let's see if Psybeam that will finish it off. See, I was, oh, critical, I don't know. I was wondering if it would because it didn't have the stab bonus, like Gust did. But whatever. Player defeated Pokemon Trainer Raymond. Ugh, oh no! Yay, Poké Dollars. I was looking for a challenge from a tough trainer, and I found it. Yes, you did. 
Is there anything else worthwhile? No! Whoa, hey! I see, yeah, this is from the movie. I remember, yeah, this is from the movie. The Dragonite has something for you. It's a video hologram message of a young woman. She's beginning to speak. It's Nurse Joy, da da da. Greetings, Pokemon trainer. I bear an invitation. You have been chosen to join a select group of Pokemon trainers at a special gathering. It will be hosted by my master, the world's greatest Pokemon trainer at his palace on New Island. A chartered ferry will leave from Old Ushore Wharf to take you to the island this afternoon. Only trainers who present this invitation will be admitted. If you decide to attend, you must decide at once. My master awaits you. There was a note asking if you would like to attend. How do you want to respond? Yes! Ash received a Neo ticket from the Dragonite. Goodbye, Dragonite! Awesome! We're like the coolest ever, aren't we? Old Shore Warp. Okay, I wanted to go check north with the Diglett. But now I don't want to miss the chance, and I'm not sure if I would miss it if I did something else big first. Oh. Yep, I was right. That's Nurse Joy. What do you have to say? You confused? I wanted to heal my Pokemon, but the nurse isn't anywhere to be found. What about you, Chansey? Do you just sit around and do nothing? Chansey! Yeah, you son of a gun. You stupid worthless. All right, let's go. Oh, I can't wait to go to the island. This is going to... It's a Vulpix! It's a Vulpix! This <laughs> is so cute! I love the little sprite. I don't know if I've seen a Vulpix sprite like that before. It's adorable. I can't wait to get to New Island. What about you, miss? I'm going to own this supposed Pokemon Master. What about you, sir? How can I pass up an invitation to meet the greatest Pokemon trainer in the world? You couldn't. That's how. Alright, Oddish, what do you have to say? Oddish! Odd! Good for you. There's nothing I can do about the ferry being cancelled. This could be the worst storm ever. A deadly storm like this happened long ago, killing all humans who braved the ocean. Legend says that in their sorrow, the water of the Pokemon's tears somehow restored the lives lost in the storm. But tears aren't going to save you if you try to venture into this storm now. If you try that, and your Pokemon got hurt, you'd be out of luck because the Pokemon Center's been closed. The nurse in charge of the center disappeared last month. If you see her, please let me know. Alright. I'm sorry, but the ferry is not running due to the incl incl inclement? I don't know about that word. <laughs> Weather. Drat. Looks like we'll have to raft our way out. Ah, if only there were like friendly Vikings who could lend a hand. Gosh dang it, I'd love to meet some- Dang it, they're not gonna be here, are they? Can I just raft out? No, it's too rough to use the raft. What do I do then? I need to go. I want to go see the... I want to take part in the movie. Eh, are you sure? Are you sure there's nothing in here? Gosh dang it, Chansey, you worthless Pokemon. Why are you even in the Pokemon Center if you can't help? The waves are crashing and the current is extremely powerful. Your only way to get to New Island is to use the raft, though da da da. Would you like to use the raft? Yes! <laughs> Uh-oh. The ocean is too rough! Ash's raft was splintered to pieces. Ash was consumed by the waves, dot dot dot. Well, frick. Ash grabbed onto the back of Rebel and began to swim. Rebel can swim now? What if I didn't have a water Pokemon? What would have happened? <laughs> like, seriously. Star you? Alright. Bulba, use Leech Seed! Well, we don't have a star you, so I figure we're gonna catch it, right? Yeah, I'll get back to you. Gotcha! Star you was caught! Heck yeah! We totally caught that star you. Star you, star Pokemon. Height, 2 feet 7 inches. Weight, 76.1 pounds. It appears in large numbers by seashores. At night, its central core flashes with a red light. Cool. No. Goodbye, star you! Have fun with Professor Oak! Oh, nope, another Pokemon. Hey, look! It's a horsey! Leech Seed! And we'll jump ahead. Gotcha! Horsey was caught! I've been having good luck. I've thrown only ult or great balls. Like, Leech Seed took effect twice and then Sleep Powder. That was it. Horsey, Dragon Pokemon. Horsey's a Dragon Pokemon? I didn't know that. Dragon Pokemon. Height, 
1 foot 4 inches, weight 17.6 pounds. It maintains balance using its tail, which is wound up like a coil. It may spray ink from its mouth. Cool. No. Have fun with Prof Corsi! You little dragon Pokemon, apparently. Up, oh, dead end. Other way. Okay. Ash found one water stone. Yay! Ooh, Seedra. We're gonna try to catch this one. <laughs> Hope you don't blame me, but Seedra's actually kinda cool, you know? Besides, the other two were pretty easy. Maybe this will be easy as well. I'll see you in a bit. Gotcha! Seedra was caught! Oh, good. See how far <laughs> Lychee took Seedra down? That was because Sleep Attack, er, Sleep Attack, well, kept missing. Seedra, Dragon Pokemon. Height, 3 feet 11 inches. Weight, 55.1 pounds. Its body bristles with sharp spikes. Carelessly trying to touch it could cause fainting from the spikes. Are they like poison spikes? Or why would touching something sharp make you faint? Oh, hey, is that an exit? That was. Ash pulled himself up out of the water. Hey, it's Nurse Joy. Hello, Nurse Joy. My master bids you welcome to New Island. Will you kindly present your invitation? Ash flashed the Neo ticket. Very well, you may enter. Da da da. Hmm? No, I'm not the missing nurse. I'm only dressed like one, for cosplay. I've always dwelt on this... on this island, and I've always been in the service of my master. Please enter, da da da. Whoa, she just blipped. That was terrifying. Well, I guess we should go in, right? I mean, she said to go in. But just in case I do something stupid, I'm saving now. We'll play a little bit longer, though we will have to wrap this up shortly. Let's go! Who else made it? The door shut and locked behind Ash! Oh, frick! It's haunted! Oh, hey guys, what's up? Hitmon Lee! Shoo! Why do you say shoo? You're a sand slash, dang it. Right. I don't know what it sounds like. Venusaur! Scyther Scythe! Scythe! You sound like that now. You sound ridiculous. Okay, but good. People did make it. What took you so long? It was a breeze for me. I rode here on my Pidgeot. Why couldn't I ride on my Pidgeot? So come on, let's have a battle and see how strong we are before his master trainer shows. I hope that was a guy, otherwise this girl is quite the tomboy. Oh good, it was a guy. <laughs> Alright, cool trainer Cory. Wow, six Pokemon? And they're all pretty high level? That is impressive. Most trainers I encounter kind of suck. You know what I mean. But no, why not show this battle? Why not, right? Even if we do have all these other battles to show afterward. Pidgeot will send out Pikachu! Your Pidgeot's no match for Pikachu! How many Pidgeots has he taken out before? I don't know, but birds, several! Well, mark that down for one more Pidgeot. In your face, cool trainer. You... I forget his name. Cory! Cool trainer, Cory. Pidgeot, go! Oh, the irony. Not that that's necessarily ironic, because irony has such a confusing, confusing, confusing definition. We're just gonna say it's ironic for now and have a good laugh about it. Never bring it up again. Yeah. Okay, maybe I should jump ahead a bit. See you soon! Alright, well there's one down. That was quite a battle! I hope this master trainer is as much of a challenge as you were. Yeah, that's right, I kicked your butt. You haven't met my Pokemon yet, have you? Allow me to introduce you. That storm wasn't easy to navigate, but it was worth it to meet a Pokemon Master. Okay, two down. Blastors! It was no problem getting through that storm for me. I rode over on Gyarados's back. Come on, let's have a battle to warm up for this Master Trainer. Gyarados are tough to train, but once you do, it's the most dependable Pokemon there is. Okay, let's review my Pokemon. These trainers were admittedly tough. They each had six and they were all at level 45. 
Bulba got hit by a critical and kind of, you know, he was paralyzed too, so that didn't work out well. Pikachu missed Thunder twice, got hit by Hydro Pump, that didn't go so well either. Um, Pidgeot got paralyzed, Rebel's weak. Yeah, but that's okay, we're doing well. What do you guys have to say? Nito! Good for you. Get your throat check. Go, Duke. I guess that's Duke. That's fun. Oh, I love it for you. I'm not even gonna try. Alright, um, can we heal or something? Is that. <gasps> Night Tails, I love you too. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, look at this friend. That's adorable. <laughs> okay, right. Um, I can't run, otherwise, I would be running right now. But, you know, I'm hoping to find the Nurse Joy, who's not Nurse Joy, to get my Pokemon healed. Yay, there you are. Hello. Would you heal my Pokemon, Nurse Joy? Now that you are here, all trainers worthy of an audience with my master are present. Only the trainers capable of braving the storm have proven themselves worthy in my master's eyes. Even though you pulled me out of the water. <laughs> Please release your Pokemon from their Pokeballs and join the others. It will not be long before my master's intentions are clear. Ash released his Pokemon. Oh no! Oh no! I should have saved first! You are about to meet my master. The time has come for your encounter with the greatest Pokemon master on Earth. 